Aloha everyone. In today's video, I'll be doing a simple DIY and also planting out in my smart pot raised bed using a special product sent to me by True Organic. This is not a sponsored video, but come along and see how I apply their product to our garden. So I received three different types of fertilizer, a granular fertilizer that's slow release, a liquid fertilizer that I use every two weeks, and a seabird guamo that is high in frustrates. So here I'm making a container, a one gallon container, and I'm making some holes on the top because I will be using this with the liquid fertilizer. So I'm going to be making a batch of the liquid fertilizer. So the direction says two ounce to one gallon of water. So this um, container that I have is exactly one gallon. So I filled it up with water. You shake the uh, fertilizer container very well. And then I measured it for two ounces. And it's, it has fish fertilizer in it, so it does have an odor. Then I poured it into the, my container and then rinsed out the uh, measuring cup so that the mixture in the gallon container could also be mixed at the same time. So after making the fertilizer, I decided to use them on my flower seedlings. I gave them a good dose of the fertilizer and we'll see how it grows. So I use the True Organic Liquid Bloom Fertilizer. Here I'm taking the granular fertilizer and mixing it with my potting mix and I'll be transplanting some pepper plants into these 4 inch pots. So I have about 4 tablespoons of fertilizer mixed in the potting mix as I plant these up. The chart above shows you how you need to have a granular fertilizer that is a slow release for a month and you need to use a liquid fertilizer every two weeks. So if you want to grow in small spaces. Here I have a smart pot junior bed and I'm placing out my plants to see where each one will go. Then I'm going to be using the granular fertilizer and placing them into the hole and covering my plants and placing a little bit more on the top. So this first plant is a cucumber it's a vining plant, so it'll go up on the back trellis. And then I have a tomato. I'm not sure what variety it is because I lost the tag for this um, indeterminate tomato. This is not a sponsored video, but I'd like to thank True Organics for sending me these different types of fertilizer and also letting me use the chart of the comparison of the granular and the liquid fertilizer. The chart was great to see why you should use a granular fertilizer with a liquid fertilizer and how they work together. Here I'm planting out two more tomatoes. These tomatoes are determinant tomatoes. So determinant means that it will only grow up to a certain size, so about three to four feet. The first tomato I planted was an indeterminate, so the size will be anywhere from six to seven feet. So it needs a long trellis. To 
to make use of my smart pot space I'm planting in between these two tomatoes a heat tolerant lettuce so hopefully the um, two tomatoes will give it a little bit shade but it still can grow out in the direct sun and this next plant is my wonder peppers it looks a little sad but I'm hoping it'll recover because I did um, some pruning on it because there was a lot of white flies next I'm going to be placing some marigold around the edges of the bed if you're enjoying this video don't forget to click the like button and let me know what you're growing in your garden if you enjoyed this type of video please let me know in the comments So if you would like to grow your own food and start a garden, start small, use a container or a smart pot like this. It's a junior raised bed and you can plant vegetables that you enjoy eating and flowers that you can enjoy too. Here I'm adding the liquid fertilizer to the plants I just completed and after about a week and a half the plants took well to the transplanting and enjoying the fertilizer. And here are the seedlings. They sure have grown. Mahalo for watching. This is not a sponsored video, but thank you to True Organic for sending me some of your products to help with growing in my garden. I will be doing future updates. See you in my next video.